Continuing 5.5, uh, completing the squares, we're on example 5, and basically what it says is you want to paint a rectangular garden along part of a 40-foot side of your house. To keep out animals, you will enclose the garden with wire mesh along its three open sides, and you will also cover the garden with mulch. If you have 50 feet of mesh, enough mulch to cover 100 square feet, what would the garden's dimensions be? So, there's what we have. I have my house and my garden on the outside. And what it's saying is uh, along a 40-foot side of your house. So this is 40 feet long right here. So the whole thing is 40 feet long. And if you have 50 feet of mesh, uh, we need to figure out what the length is of all the parts. Well, basically, I could label each of these as X, right? So if I have 50 feet of mesh along the outside, and we don't know what the two sides are, but I know they have to be the same because it's a rectangle, right? I'll call these X. This is going to be 50 minus x and x, which is 50 minus 2x. So what that means is, if this was 2 and this was 2, right, that would add up to be 4. So it should have to be 46 because it has to be 50, right? If this is 3 and this is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, so this would have to be 44. Well, how do we get that? 2 times 3, because each side is 3 is 6, 50 minus 6 is 44. So that's how we're getting the formula there. So we have our dimensions. So the area of the garden is 100 square feet. So area is length times width, which is length x times width, 50 minus 2x, and then that equals the area, which is 100. So what I can do here is, it's the length, the width, and that's the area. I can distribute, and I end up getting that. And I can add a 2x squared to that side, and I can subtract a 50x, and that's what I end up getting. 2x squared minus 50x plus 100. Well, even if I wanted to factor, even if I wanted to complete the squares, before I do anything, let's take out what they all have in common. And they all have uh, one thing in common, that's a 2. They're all divisible by 2. If I take a 2 out of everything, I have a negative 25 now and a 50. I can divide both sides by that 2 to get rid of it. And this is actually what I have left. Can you think of two numbers that multiply to give you 50, that add to give you negative 25? Mm, not off the top of my head. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get all the x's on one side so I can complete the squares and all the numbers on the other. So when I do that, <coughs> I am now going to try to figure out what I can put on each side. So according to the completing the squares, it's b over 2 squared. So I take this negative 25, which is b. So it's negative 25 over 2 squared. And when you square both of those, that's 625 and 4. Uh, so it's actually negative 12.5 squared, which is 156.25, which means I need to add that to both sides. No problem. And when I combine my like terms here, I get 106.25 equals x squared minus 25x plus uh, 156.25. Now, no problem, except if I sit here and said, hey, can you factor that for me? You'd sit there and go, Psh, I don't know how to factor that. Well, that's why whatever is inside the parentheses is your factor. So since that's your factor, I know that it's x minus 12.5 on both sides squared. Okay, and I know what the other side equals. So all you gotta do is square root each of these. So I end up getting x minus 12.5 equals plus or minus the square root of 106.25. I add 12.5 to both sides. So I get 12.5 plus or minus the square root of 106.25. And I'm getting 22.8 or 2.2 as my answer. So how do we know which length to use? Well, we plug in both to see if they make sense. And here's what I mean. Plug in 22.8 into this. Plug in 2.2, .2, I end up getting uh, 45.6. This can't work because 45.6 is longer than the 40 feet side of the house. So 2.2 .2 doesn't work. It can't be longer than the side of the house or it won't make any sense. So the point that I'm getting at is we can't put 2.2 .2 in there because it's longer than the house is, which means the garden's bigger and will even fit in my yard. However, if I put the length of 22.8 in there, I end up getting 4.4 .4 as the one length. So I get 4.4 .4 and 22.8, which actually fits for the length of the house. 
Vertex form is the same as completing the squares. So writing in vertex form basically means up. Uh, you put a space in between each of these because whatever you add on one side, you have to add to the other. So uh, the formula is b over 2 squared. So that's negative 8 divided by 2 squared, which is negative 4 squared. Negative 4 squared is 16. So that means I need to add a 16 on both sides. And when I do that, I end up having all of this with a 16 over here. This I can factor because I know what the factor is. It's negative 4, so I can change all of this into x minus, because it's a negative 4, x minus 4 squared. And then now I can move that 16 over to this side by subtracting it to combine all the numbers together. And I get y equals x minus 4 squared minus 5, which is now in vertex form of a graph. And remember, the vertex is the opposite of whatever is inside, which is 4, and whatever's on the outside, which is negative 5. So there's your vertex point. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? So there's your homework. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, please, please let me know. Um, this can get a little tricky, but once you once you get it down, once you see a couple of examples, you should be able to complete the squares with no problem. So if you have any questions, please email me and um, look online. There is other examples of completing the squares that might help you out.